product we're going to use for the heating and cooling in this particular application is a small duct, high velocity, central heating and cooling system. And in this particular application, we chose it because the very limited thermal transfer between inside and out, we don't need the big ductwork in here. We want as much built space as we can possibly get in this home. With the system we're installing, the main plenum, instead of being eight inches by 30, it's only seven inches round. Coming off of that are very small two inch ducts, which terminate into very linear diffusers, which are about yay big. So the impact on the home is very small. Another issue that makes this product very sustainable, the small duct system, is the fact that it doesn't leak. So 100% of the air cooling or heating that you're paying for is actually going into the structure to cool or heat it. There's no duct leakage. The big traditional ducts leak about 25%. This particular system, the lead rater will show it to be leaking less than 1%. And they can't put zero. So they have to say less than 1%. That's very sustainable. There's going to be two units here, uh, two high efficiency units. We'll be taken off right from there off the units on the air handlers. It's a high velocity system, quick to install, needs little room like most of our ductwork, cuts the ductwork, the main trunk lines in half and gives us a much faster installation, much easier installation by going down to two inch high velocity pipes. Now, the exit, the air coming out, we used to big floor registers or ceiling registers. Instead, we have a round register, a small register with a high volume coming out quickly. It takes up very little space on the floor, can be put in the corners, near the windows, it's out of the way. That's how it works, it's a good system. Hey Bruce, how you doing? Good Dan, how are you? Good, doing good. How's the ductwork installation it's coming along? It's going real good. We're just finishing up our returns down into the basement. Uh, That'll be our final connections into the mechanical room. We're looking pretty good there. Okay. Uh, right over here, we're finishing up our flex. All our flex is run. We just got to make our connections, snap-ons, and that's it, and then tighten everything up, and we're looking good. Okay, now all this ties back to the mechanical room that's below here, Everything's right? Everything's going right into the mechanical room, whereas our returns are going to run down into the ceiling. Grills put on the ceiling with the master room downstairs being a plenum room and a master return going into the units in the mechanical room. It stratifies much better in a room like this with a high velocity system. Whereas our lower velocity systems, we have to have a return in every single room right, that's in order to get that heat off the ceiling, cool for the floor to draw up. With this system, it mixes it pretty even in the room, so it works real well. So we, it should be a nice comfort level in this, regardless Absolutely. of the time of year. Absolutely, no matter, no matter what height, that ceiling height or level, it should be a nice mix of air. Easier on the units, actually. Great. And I see this system, you're able to take advantage of the soffits and things that are in the space to kind of make everything work and fit in. That's so. what's great about it. Instead of a trunk line, everything fits in the soffit. If we, as you can see, we've got six runs in a small soffit. If you had six runs on conventional, what would happen there, you'd have to have a major trunk line coming through and takeoffs, right. which now you're boxing in. Whereas this, they can put a nice ceiling, finished ceiling up high. It's got a nine foot ceiling, looks real nice and neat for the homeowner. Great. Works well. Has there been any other challenges to this? I notice everything's pretty much about the same size ductwork. You're up through the floor, you're making your connections. Yeah, the only couple of challenges coming through the floor, certain spots we had to move simply because we have heavy beams underneath. And it works out, but that's that's the nice thing about the flex. It's only a four-inch opening you have to put in. It's very movable. Right. So if you have any problems on the job, you can move over one space, you can move over another section and flex back to where you want the original print because you want symmetrical always when you register so they look good in the ceiling or look good in the wall. Yeah, well, plus you so, get the balance of flow of yes. air in your room. Yeah, so. you keep the balance of flow by staying those registers at your end. The architect and the yes. engineering getting those balanced off so it not only looks good, the air is balanced well enough off in the room so it's a nice mix and it looks nice and symmetrical. Everything's looking real good here. No, no it problem. sounds great. I'll let you get ahead. It looks like you are uh, got octopuses coming out of the ground here. Sure does. Wouldn't this look great underwater? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our team installs the two units that will provide the airflow while the ductwork registers and returns are installed. 